Adam, great to speak to you. Um, firstly, could I just ask you your reflections on, on winning a really big game on Tuesday night? Um, obviously happy. Uh, a lot of, I wouldn't say relief, but we put a lot of energy into as much as we tried to make out for us. It weren't the, the biggest game of the season. It weren't the be-all and end-all. The players are human beings, so they, they hear all the noise and um, they carried that into the game, but in a positive way. And it was it was really nice to get the three points. I think the biggest positive for me was the performance. We went there with a, a game plan, um, and the guys carried it out. So yeah, really, really, really happy. We enjoyed the few hours after it, but straight back down to earth on the on the Wednesday. And when that final whistle goes, is it a sense of just delight? Is it a sense of relief? We we've made this trip and we've done it. A uh, mixture of both, I think. I think because we knew they had to come out and beat us on Tuesday. Um, there was obviously pressure on them to do that. At the same time, we didn't want to go there and and sit back and defend because that's not not us. I don't think we're uh, a team that can do that. So we we had to make sure we was on the front foot, which we were. And then when that final whistle goes, it's a mixture of of all sorts. Um, but we we have to quickly refocus because we've done nothing as yet. I know you were pretty clear when you took the job here that there was one job to do this season and that was to get out of this division just how pleased have you been with how it's gone so far yeah it's gone to, up to now touch wood it's it's gone to plan um a lot of credit has to go to the players because they, they took on board everything that i've asked of them um the the tweet the, the philosophy that, that they were playing um, to, to what i, I want to see and they, they've been they've been exceptional for me so um, at the minute, we're in a good place. We've we, we've managed to, to pick up some good wins, some really important wins, especially over the last four to six weeks, which has, has put us in a really good place. Um, but the, the good thing for me is I still see a lot of improvement in the group. I still see areas that we can get stronger at, we can get better at. Um, and if we keep working hard, we will improve. So uh, that's always a, a positive. There's games in hand. Here. You're in a terrific position already and there are games in hand. I speak to managers up and down of the, the county here, Adam, and games in hand mean pretty much nothing until you've won them, do they? Yeah, exactly. And it's I think when I came in, we had like, must have been four or five games in hand. So from one point of view, you look at it and you go, OK, that could accumulate to X amount of points, but um, would have and could have don't really mean anything, do they? So we, we've took every game as it's come this season. That's been our our way we've done things, we, we, we obviously have a, a target that we want to hit at the end of the season, um, but we literally take every game as it comes and as long as we, we, we prepare for, for each moment and our game plans are right and the players execute like they have done up to now, um, I've got no doubt we'll, we'll finish in a strong position. Are you looking at results and permutations at the moment or, or do you just have to concentrate on you? Yeah, I think it, we're, we're in a position now where we we have been for a while where we've just got to make sure we do our job. Um, what happens around us, we can't control. And, and, and since I've come in, I've made that a really big point to the group that um, we have to just focus on the controllables because the, there's that many things in, in football, in this league especially, that um, <clears throat> you can't control, um, which sometimes is frustrating. So if you get caught up in all of those things, you lose focus on, on what you're actually trying to do. So our focus has been solely on us and it, and it will be. What have you made of this league from coming into it? Uh, interesting. Um, I think it's, it's, it's really good as a coach because every game's a different challenge. Every game, you could watch a team for the last five or six games and uh, they'll do one thing and then um, they change out of nowhere. So you, you have to be prepared for everything. There's a lot of teams that change game by game. Players change ridiculously. Um, so yeah, it's tough to plan for at times and sometimes the... The, the bigger games against the um, probably the, the so-called bigger teams in this league are a little bit easier to plan for because they've got a set way of doing things. Um, but yeah, it, it, it fires a lot of different things. That you have to go to a lot of different environments. Obviously, we've got a certain way of playing, which at times we've had to adapt because we haven't been able to do it, which again, the players have been incredible at doing. Um, so yeah, I, I found it um, interesting. Do you find teams change for you? You might watch their last five games and they come to Fylde and, and there's a completely different game plan because of where you find yourself. Yeah, some teams do and we're aware of that. So we, we, we plan for that, uh, especially of late. Uh, we've found, especially here, teams come and either match us up in shape or 
um, go differently about their game plan, which is it's obviously uh, it's a credit to the players for for making opposite opposition teams do that. But then you get your teams that um, will come and be themselves, uh, and there's quite a few of them as well, which I've got a lot of respect for them because they've obviously got their own philosophies and their own beliefs in the way to play, and they they stick to that, which is uh, the way it should be in my eyes. But no, there's loads of different challenges. It's a I think non-league now, it's not like it used to be 10, 15 years ago. There's a lot of professionalism. There's a lot of, um, it's become a lot, lot more athletes in the, in the, in the um, level. Analysis is massive at the level now. So everybody knows, everybody plans. It's not just turn up and play. Uh, so yeah, it's good. It's a good challenge. Although this season isn't done and nothing's won yet, have you got half an eye on planning ahead and, and looking for what next season's squad will look like and what your plan will be for the next season? Not me personally. I'm not, I, I don't plan that far ahead in my own life. So I, I, I love enjoying the moment. I'm that kind of guy. Um, I, I live for today. Uh, I leave the, the planning to, to Chris Beach and the, the chairman. Um, I'll focus on, on what I can control on the grass and uh, within the group uh, and make sure that the, the player's in the best environment for for the next kickoff. And if you are to get what you want to get, do you look at the squad that you've got right now, Adam, and think the majority can step up? Some can step up? You might lose some along the way? How do you see it? Um, I think we're strong. When I, when I first come in, I think it's a really strong group um, for, for the levels of football that we're in and around at the minute. So, um, again, everything in, in this game is performance related. So we've still got a lot of games of football to play. We've still got a lot of uh, 90 minutes where we need performance levels to stay at a standard, um, which ultimately will decide where, where we go as a squad moving forward, whether it's this league, the next one, or, or wherever it may be. Um, so, yeah, our focus is on performance. As long as we perform, we'll win games. If we win games, it puts everybody in a, in a better position for next season. We know how much it's in your hands, and it's in your hands here, isn't it, over the next week? Yeah, it is. We've got we've had uh, a couple of really tough away games, so it's nice to be back home. Um, but again, the the, uh, the opponents we're facing are, are tricky opponents. We've got a couple this week that have got a real clear philosophy, which um, is good. We went up to to Blythe a few weeks ago, and they gave us a real good game. So it'll be the same here. And tomorrow we've got Gloucester that that we know can, if you give them time, they can play. So um, yep, yeah, it's all in our hands, and um, it, it's nice that we can can stay off the road this week. You brought Nathan Delfonso in quite recently. Is it as much on the pitch as, as in the dressing room and, and everything else, what he brings to you with his experience? Yeah, everything. Everything. He, um, he, he actually got in touch with us in terms of um, seeing if he could come and train and um, be part of what we're doing at the minute. So he came in for a couple of weeks and we were all impressed with his attitude, uh, his physical condition that he's in, considering he's not played much football of late. Um, his professionalism and even on, on Tuesday night when he didn't get on the pitch his encouragement, his, his wisdom to the lads that he's given them um, his motivation for the, the players and the bench was, was is priceless um, so for us we, we kind of felt lucky on that one but I think he's somebody that will, will affect our, our end to the season You brought a couple of new faces in uh, and I suppose we'd look at it as being quite late in, in the season to do that. Do you, how much of a, a boost or a bonus is that, that you can do that at this level, Adam, and, and maybe just help you get over the line to where you want to be? Yeah, I think it's it's a new one for me because I've never um, known a win to be open so late in a season to, to be able to affect the season. So uh, it's, it's a plus, it's a plus point. Obviously, we lost uh, Big Mo back to West Brom, who had been brilliant for us. Um, so we... We, we had options already lined up for scenarios like like that and, and other things, but we knew we had to move quickly because of the, the schedule we're in. It's literally, we don't have time to rest. It's game after game. So we moved fast. We bought in Bart from Derby. We bought Dalfin, and um, both of them so far have shown the, the, the quality and the standards. And just personally, to be a number one again, you've, you've been a number one before. You've been a coach before. How much are you enjoying being the manager? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really enjoying it at the minute. It's, uh, it's been a, a long journey for me, to be honest with you. I started coaching, managing very young, um, and I've had kind of 11, 11 years now as a, uh, as a coach. I had, I had a lot of years as an assistant because I felt I needed it. Um, when I, was, I started at Mansfield as a, a manager, I was literally playing on the Friday, 
managing on the Saturday. So I thought I was ready. I thought I knew what was right and, and what was wrong, but I was a million miles off it. Um, although I still felt I did a half decent job there. So um, yeah, I knew I had to go away and, and make myself better, learn, um, refine my philosophy and the way I see the, the game being played. And I've been really fortunate that I've had some, some big clubs to work at and some, some top, top coaches and, and some new ideas from foreign coaches and players, which um, they've all helped and, and, uh, and moulded my, my brain to where it is now. Um, still a million miles off from where I want to be, but um, enjoying the journey. You'll be considered to be a young manager right now. Mm -hmm. To be considered at Mansfield as a young manager was, was almost taking it to an extreme, wasn't it? Yeah, and I think that's the... Sometimes I look at it and I go, I don't know how the probably the greats of the game do it when they get to 60, 70 and, and they're still managing at the top level. Um, but yeah, I, I've just turned 41 and um, I don't feel like a, a, a young manager. But um, yeah, I suppose in, in, in one aspect that's a real positive because I've gained a lot of experience in in the last uh, 11, 12 years. And yeah, it's, it's for me now it's just try and get better, try and make the people around me better and keep looking for the next challenges.